I think partly because of what you asked in the first the, the first question, there is there is an element of sharing. I think that one of the ways forward and one of the ways to continue is to use the expertise within the field firstly. Um, so use the thing we talk about with communities, an asset based approach, using the talents that are there um, to inform others and also working cross sectorally on CPD so that way you're getting more bang for your buck um, and you're able to do more for less. Well, CPD is certainly very important to ensure that we have a skilled and competent workforce but in the difficult financial circumstances we have to be very smart in our planning of CPD and I see it as an integral part to improvement planning so the service improvement plans for the area would be linked to the individual CPD plans for all of our staff and we have to prioritise what's most important, resource it, drive it forward and a lot of that is about um, mentoring and coaching, certainly on the job training. It's not about uh, just attending courses. I think there's a lot of professional development, personal reading, online learning, workplace learning. All of these are very valuable CPD opportunities.